everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. This is uh, 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 Slay the Spire, is what it's called. There's an incredible, inversely proportional correlation between my ability to speak and my ability to play. The less I speak, the better I play, the better I play, the less I speak. The more I speak, the worse I play, so eat your beans with every meal. Did we do... we... hold on. I know this is becoming a habit, but we gotta go new OBS recordings. Who did I play? Hey everybody, welcome back. It's a defect, right? It's the defect, okay. Truth be told, I have like actually no need to play Slay the Spire. I have a, you know, a decent backlog. I should be playing Isaac, but I just love starting my day with an hour of easing into it, doing light arithmetic badly. Extinguishing one out of two torches to bother 17% of the people who watch the episodes. And hopefully learning a little bit of something that will eventually get us to the point where we need to be in this game. Transform a card. Three random potions. Nah, 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 nah. Obtain a curse, choose a rare card. I actually like because we have a shop. But transform, I did get a tweet. It's not a situation where I got ten tweets. The situation where I got one tweet, but it gave me food for thought. It said, hey, Astrolabe is okay. Pandora's box is okay. Sometimes you do want to transform those strikes and def uh, defends. Especially if you've already removed a couple, then the risk is lowered. You never know what you're going to get. They'll tend to be better than those default cards for one. They might even unify as well. But anyway, we're not going to transform. First, oh, we're going to take an early feed. Offering, I've, I've come around to this. Berserk. I think I love Berserk if, hold on, what's it's too vulnerable when it's upgraded, yeah. I would love Berserk if we could get um, whatever makes it so you can no longer become vulnerable. Does that even exist? Ginger is weak. And then there's a Frail as well that I can't remember. I'll know it if I see it, but Feed Early is disgustingly good. And actually, Regret as a Curse it's not, uh, it's not the best curse for us to have, but it's not that bad. Beautiful. The best one is, uh, the one that does two damage at the end of your turn, but you can just, like, put block up through it. That's way better. Okay, um, True Grit. I do like it, we haven't taken it in a while. Infernal Blade, but, you know, I like Infernal Blade as well. I actually like Whirlwind as kind of like a better and more modular cleave. We rarely get the chance to take it super early, so I, I feel completely okay with that. Um, I'm gonna not take a curse because we already have one, and then I'm going to remove regret. And I'm feeling good about this so far. I do wish we were also able to buy Shrug it off, but that's life. You gotta make trade-offs. I definitely could remove the card slightly cheaper, but how are you supposed to know in advance, right? So, early on, I'm still experimenting um, with the idea that we're better off getting the Ruby Key later. And as for the Sapphire Key, I just don't know. Um, the Emerald Key... Hold on, 23, 12 plus I can't kill ya. You lucky so-and-so. We're gonna keep trying, though, uh, to get feed. Just because it's such an incredible option for us. Is it worth... You know what? I don't think it's worth. We're not gonna try for it here. Um, dude, I love Body Slam. I actually love Dual Wield as well. I'm gonna... And Carnage, I think, could be great as well. But I'm gonna try Dual Wield combined with feed. The idea being on fights with multiple weak enemies... We're gonna love making this work. You know, we could possibly gain a bunch of HP out of it. Anyway, we're just gonna hit you three times, obviously. You starting with two strength is not that bad for, uh... For this fight. Two strikes and a feed doesn't take... This is perfect, actually. I'm happy to be taking uh, a little bit of damage because we're guaranteed to draw feed. I didn't really finish my train of thought from earlier, but basically, Ma Bank... Emerald Key, I like fighting the Elite early. Because that means we can play a little bit more conservatively later. I don't think we want any of these, to be honest. Hemokinesis, maybe, but... I'm keeping it cool for now. 
but the ruby key, I definitely understand. Getting that later certainly seems more advantageous. Um, I'm going to get feed upgraded first. That way, dual wield could get unupgraded feed and maybe later two upgraded feeds. Um, for 98 gold. I mean, I like seeing red. I think I'll... Uh, honestly, I'd rather save our gold and just leave. What I was going to say, though, is we have to decide... Do we want the Sapphire key here, or do we want Matrushka? I want to see how Matrushka works with future chess. I don't necessarily think Matrushka is an amazing card in and of itself. Uh, or an amazing relic in and of itself, but getting it early, it, it's like the only time that it actually matters. <laughs> so I'm definitely willing to, to go for it. So this is uh, actually like our perfect setup. Dual wield feed means we gain like 8 max HP. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. It's okay, we're still guaranteed to gain 4 max HP as long as we get feed plus another strike. Well, we didn't even need the other strike. So again, max HP might not be mission critical, but it's still nice to have. I do, I mean, we've added essentially 3 attacks. The dual wheel is not a block. Do we want to add a true grit that could be upgraded later, maybe to get rid of some garbage from our deck? I actually think that that would be an acceptable choice. Um, it removes curses, it removes uh, slimes. I, I think that we'll, we'll do that right away. And I do think that uh, Whirlwind is worth upgrading, but let's get True Grit first. And I'm actually, and I say this literally, yo, let's do it again. I'm totally okay with it. I say this literally almost every time. But I'm quite happy with this deck so far, to be honest with you. I considered the dual wield. I did. I just don't think it's the right call right now. So, we are going to take quite a lot of damage here. We can always rest before the boss fight. Of course, you know, you know me. I would prefer not to if we were given the option, but... Strike. Strike. Oh, you're very lucky. Um, we're still going to feed just so that you're, you're very killable for the next turn. Still pretty good. Um, go, uh, it's tough, dude, because I love a body slam. But we're not really building towards that right now. Um, and I do like an Iron Wave as well. It does need upgrading. I think Ghostly Armor is pretty okay. 10 block by itself. It's 13 on upgrade. I want to get out of the fallacy of like, well, this is uncommon and this is common. So this must be better, but... Or this must be better, I should say. Hmm. I'm going to take Ghostly Armor. I think it's... I respect it. You have 13 life. That, dude, this is horrible. I hate this. And that didn't even... That did not solve my problem at all. Although, hold on. I can certainly kill you with two attacks. I think I would rather just do this. This is pretty dumb. On my behalf, but we still, you know, as bad of an investment as it was. We can still gain 4 max HP. We haven't taken any damage. The use of the potion hurts. And immediately, I'm like, yo, ghostly armor. <laughs> what an incredible helper. Alright, so now we have multiple feeds in the deck. We are going to take 5 damage here unless we can kill him. If we do 12 damage and then, well... We're going to play our defend. Might as well play feed to get you down there. And we got you. But we did take damage in the process. <clears throat> I quite like spot weakness. But it is a little slow. And we have no means to cycle it around. So I think for now I'm going to say no. And I think a rest is definitely in order. I don't feel like we've made a terrible mistake by resting here. 50 HP, I hope, is going to be good for us. And actually, the Explosive Potion is pretty solid as well. Can make up the difference for us. 
Not a big fan of drawing dual wield there. We know this is our bad turn. I'm looking to gain, like, as much HP as possible here. Yo, um, I guess we should have... Oh, I don't know. Do we even want to dual wield a strike? We're basically just getting, like, exactly the wrong draws here. Wow, I'm actually dead. What a world. I, w I was so pleased with where we were at so far. I'm not going to blame that on draw. I could have been a little bit more aggressive with the feeds instead of just being like, ah, I'm going to save them and use them on the slimes later. That went wrong so quickly. Still, I don't think it was feeds' fault. I definitely feel like choosing a rare card is still great. We'll choose barricade immediately. No, we'll choose... We'll choose barricade immediately. Now, barricade for a long time is probably going to be a bit of a dead draw. But at some point, it will stop being a dead draw and is going to rule. And it's not even a dead draw. If the enemies aren't attacking, we can always play Barricade. And it does open up a little bit of space for us. This will do six, and then six, we're fine. Yeah. So I'm very disappointed that run went wrong, but it is what it is. I'm going to take nothing for now. I have died a lot early on lately. It's a very sobering position to be in when you think you're uh, half decent at this game, but... You know, much like the the first few episodes of trying to build into a thin deck, well, maybe like the first two weeks, were really, really bad. It was either that or do one damage. And then, as time went on, we started to appreciate the value of a thin deck, and sometimes you just have to go through this period of, you know, things being a little spotty. We will take a carnage there for a little offensive potency. Um, of things being a little spotty before you can get into a position where they're going to be better, you know? So I'm hoping that this is a learning exercise. The only thing that bothers me is that there's like no discernible reason why not having the ruby key should make me die more. If anything, I should be doing way better earlier. So Body Slam fits the archetype 100%. Can I do 21 damage? Yes, I can. Um, you know what I mean? Like, instead of getting the ruby key early, I'm getting an extra upgrade. So the fact that I'm taking, or I'm doing worse... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we're not going to get there. The fact that I'm doing worse is is befuddling, to put it in the most pretentious way possible. I do think we want to Rage here as well. It works well with Barricade. It works well with Body Slam. We'd like some more draw, but you get the idea. So for now, I'm going to start with a Body Slam upgrade. Again, Barricade, I don't expect it to be useful for a while. I'm still going to, well... You know, I'm going to do it. 30 gold. Now I'm going to leave. We did really well there. Two Curse Protection. The gold is irrelevant, kind of. Got a sneeze. <laughs> oh. I do have a little bit of a sore throat. It's that kind of season. You don't need to tell me, by the way, that uh, getting sick again is annoying. Trust me. I know. I'm hopeful this is just a minor thing. I haven't been traveling. We'll take an iron wave, no doubt. Um... And a Sapphire Key, I think it's a perfect time to grab it. But I swear it's having... Uh, and we'll go for this right off the bat to take advantage of Omomori. Um, it was being around my nieces, I think. You know, the kids are like germ incubation chambers. They were like, you know, sneezing all over the place, coughing. I'm not blaming a five-year-old for my own problems now. I'm just saying. <laughs> huh. Well, we could duplicate a body slam. That's where I look at this first and I go, you get shrug it off, 
and then you duplicate your zero cost body slam. And now we've, we've got a lot of the pieces for what I would consider to be a real strong... Uh, this is actually... It's not so bad. Uh, we got a lot of the pieces for what I consider to be a really strong block deck. We need an energy relic or a card that gives us extra energy. That was just fun to drag. But this is, it's popping a little bit. Just a little bit. Infernal Blade is almost tempting, but... I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is tempting. And it's my own mental shortfall that keeps me from getting there. So, right off the bat, we will shrug once. Uh, and then I think we will try the attack potion just to get out ahead of these guys. So... I think we probably do headbutt. Even though it's not particularly incredible. Um, it is the best card out of the set. I mean, Heavy Blade does more damage. It, it gets no bonus, and it only costs zero one time. I think a Defend Strike Body Slam kills one. We take no damage, and now you can start to see the value of the deck coming around here. Now, I said this last time, literally right before I died. Yo, this is so good. Um, but I actually quite like where this deck is at right now. Do I like it more than the last deck? That's not a fair question, to be honest with you. The answer is obviously yes. That's beautiful. Um, because I don't have any knowledge that this one will die immediately on our next boss fight. The boot. Probably worth nothing, but we do get the Emerald Key. The thing is, like, Warcry... It just replaces itself. When it gets upgraded, it's better. Like, it's... It's just such a minor thing on a non-exhaust deck that I don't look at it as if it's that important, but... I don't know, maybe in flame, you make every body slam eventually do three more damage. I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like <clears throat> for where we're at right now, this is totally fine. So I am gonna, uh, I'm gonna go for the barricade upgrade just on the off chance. Maybe we don't get an energy relic, which is actually fairly plausible. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to make something good happen there, uh, dude. I hate that I have to not play Barricade in order to get this guy to cycle. I just want, if we can get Barricade out there, it would just be nice. For many reasons, one of which is I would, you know, if possible, prefer to never see it again. Um, Alright, that was productive. This even right here would have been an okay turn to play it, but really we want to pop on him next turn. Everything's going fine. Just a kind of wonky draw. Um, I mean, we'll block as much as we can. We could use our potions. I, I genuinely don't think we're going to need them, but obviously as of right now, it does appear to be slightly suspect. This is a, it's a touchier fight than I thought it would be. I'll tell you that much, without a doubt. So keep in mind, with Barricade now, we're just, we're, we're doing what we always want to do with this deck, and that's getting to the point where, uh... Basically, we have enough block to not have to worry about your big turns, and then our body slams can just do the rest of the work for us. Like, even that was, was really solid. Now, we're only staving one block here. Yo, the boot! <laughs> I just realized that because of the boot, our body slam is actually still, like, always gonna be decent. That's funny. Um, might as well get the extra block. Alright, so, I mean, the boot, there is a case, I guess. It does do something uh, for body slam. Like, already, while well, you're doing 7 damage, you have 7 block. That's not really the same situation. Um...
Either way. It wasn't a perfect fight. And it also, like, is not over yet. But, uh, I mean, let's be real. It's over. My dude has one HP. So we're gonna make it out of the first floor. What a cursed situation. There's nothing to do with Exhum yet. It could bring a Carnage back if we're unable to use it. And Berserk, I mean, I like, but I gotta be honest, even now I think the Feed is the best card out of those. Um, I'm not willing to transform all my strikes and defends, even though I mentioned that tweet that I got. Am I willing to get wounds in my draw pile that I can't do anything with? I don't think I am. So you know what? Bring me back to life once. Hopefully. Hopefully. Dude, I, I kind of really like left path here. Actually, I prefer this path. There is a little bit more combat, but more flexibility as well. Um, where was I going with this? I can't recall. Straight up, uh, so tempting to use feed to just punch through your armor. But it only punches through for one, so I think I'm going to hold off a second here. I think that this floor will be tough for us. Just because we're basically the same deck as our last floor. We're going against much harder enemies. It the the fact that we didn't get an energy relic is really bad. I'm hopeful that it's not going to come back to bite us too hard. But, I mean, again, in the end, there's not a whole heck of a lot we could have done about it one way or the other, right? I mean, well, no, there is. We could have taken Mark of Pain. True. We're not really storing feed to use it later. We're storing feed because it's, I mean, I would rather defend. I do hate you. I just want you to know that I hate you. I'm going to smack you to make feed more plausible next turn if we're lucky enough to get it. Either way, we'll probably just go for the kill. We did get feed. Um, so bash. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> Give me that iron wave. I think we need flexible cards right now. Um, you know what? I, I really don't want you to hit me for 10. But I'll do it this way. We get, uh, you know, five factorial healing out of this. Now, saying five factorial is a really uh, hoity-toity way of saying I don't want to do the math, but I guess it's nine, tw it's like 15. Now, we're really in a race against dazes here. But I think this dude is totally screwed, actually. Yeah, easy enough. Um, to be honest, I'm willing to let this roll one more turn. We get health, we maybe draw feed. I'm willing to let it go yet another turn. Trying not to put any extra dazes into our deck if possible. Um, I'm not willing to let it go any longer than that. Fair enough. Now, I do love an armaments. I think an armaments plus an early upgrade or a, a, as early as possible would be very nice. I will pay you 85 gold. I'd rather pay 85 gold and keep Omamori. Ah, enemies with vulnerable take more damage. Not really what we're building towards, but I'm not mad about it. I do think Ritual Dagger is totally acceptable. And then we'll see what we got here. A second Rage is kind of tempting, but the deck's getting a little thick. I'm going to pull a basic strike out of it just to keep it at a, at a worthwhile level, I hope. And we're going to get this Armaments upgraded and... I don't know. Again, I, I still think the second floor is going to be uh, its going to be a bit of a problem, personally. You're doing 20 damage turn one. Kind of a jerk move, to be honest. Um, I don't like it. <clears throat> I don't like it at all. 
But I feel like if we don't play uh, Carnage, we lose out on one of our, like, actual principal damage engines. Um... We're gonna get to enough block either way. I guess I would rather save feed. Alright, this is supposed to be a, a decent turn for us. Barricade now does exist. We only rolled over two, but... Alright, another 20 damage. That's really cool and good. So we'll roll over another two damage. We are going to be made frail, I think. Yeah, I remember. Alright, this is where things should get good. Certainly, you're going to Carnage. We're going to Body Slam. Ritual Dagger at least Im uh, gets improved. And then we'll hope to use Feed on this guy. Because we're low on energy, and maybe I'm putting a little bit too much emphasis on our energetic situation. Hold on. 15. I mean, I'd really like you to not be killed so that I can feed. I, I, I think we have to go for stuff like this because we are, like, lacking... Just trying to keep my damages or my block high so we have nothing to worry about. I think we gotta really like scrimp and save for every conceivable advantage we can get as a result of the fact that we're still I, I would say even at this point we're down one energy compared to where we'd like to be. And it's not really like necessarily fair to to say that we're losing if we don't get an energy relic on the first floor, but can't deny that it is kind of the way I feel about this right now. We could kill him so easily, but I really want this maximum HP. That's what it comes down to. And we got it. <laughs> so a lot of work for a relatively meager investment. But it has been done. And you know what? I'll take a shrug as well. We'll continue upgrading. Everything's going okay right now. Feed is a good target. Um, I mean, Ritual Dagger, it does get a lot better. But you'd probably rather use it on something that has like a permanent benefit, right? Like... I mean, even Carnage gets 8 damage, which is pretty good. But even Rage, 2 extra block, especially when you think about combining this with a Barricade. That's pretty amazing. Um, I can't deny that, I mean, Ritual Dagger, it gets so much better. And you know what? The better it gets, the faster it will kill enemies. Now, it's not going to be that useful on bosses, necessarily. But the faster it ramps, the better things are going to be for us, right? Honestly, I'll heal 25 here. It just makes it so much easier, and I, I, I don't even want to go to the shop. I know we could remove a card, but let me think about this. I would definitely think, like, so I could choose Feed or Ritual Dagger. I'm going to make what might be considered a bit of a bold choice and go for Ritual Dagger. Why go for Ritual Dagger? I think once this starts doing just an absurd amount of damage, we're already not taking any, so let's just do it like this. Once this does starts doing an absurd amount of damage, you know, the kind of damage that could just lead to it, uh... I don't know, man. Maybe we should have played Barricade here. The kind of damage that could lead to it killing uh, a decent enemy in a single hit. We'll be very happy video game players. It did suck that we had to use feed to make it happen. You're a problem. <laughs> the fact that you're 12 strength up is pretty bad. Um, but actually, we got you. That went totally fine. So you look at a headbutt. And you, you think headbutt into a, one of our upgraded body slams after you play Barricade is probably really good. And I would be inclined to agree, even though I don't think I've seen the results out of this card that I would want in every situation. Probably going to go for the Rage next. On average, that's going to be worth, I don't know, maybe four or six block upgraded. Um, I'm not willing to fight the Elites. I don't like the second floor Elites, to be honest. Uh... Sadly, 
<clears throat> I think we say goodbye Carnage. Carnage is way less of a, a an enabler for this run than uh, than Barricade is. Well, I'll play the two energy one. Of course. We don't have enough block yet. If you're not gonna kill him with this, but you're so close. I actually think that it might be worth taking the draw. We still can't do it. Okay. Um, we'll probably do it like this then. Now it sucks to kind of waste the draw potion. Really what I'm hoping for is just the ability, and, and I'll wait for it by the way. Just because we have such a good ability to build block right now anyway. Um, I'll, I don't care if it's Ritual Dagger or Feed. Either one is fine by me. But I will wait until like the 11th hour to try to swing it. So it's going to be Feed. I think that's totally okay. I don't think we want any of these. I think for whatever it's worth... We'll see how we do after these guys. For whatever it's worth though... We're, like, reasonably happy with the way this deck is going. I'm going to store feed just in case. The frailty is not that bad, dude. Honestly, okay, well, <laughs> disregard. I'd actually, you know what? Hitting you for nine is probably worth basically nothing. No, you were, you were buffing. Okay, so it was worth something, at least. We have to play Carnage. It's like our best damage dealer until our body slams start to pop. Um, so we definitely would like to shrug. And because we have barricade, I'm okay with shrugging again. Get an iron wave out there. Good body slam. Okay. Definitely my goal for this fight is one feed, one ritual dagger. Both being upgraded, of course, is what I mean. Um, 20 plus 12 doesn't quite get you. So I think we will play... I'm okay taking three damage, but the question is, do we need to get Carnage back? And I think now I'm okay saying goodbye, Carnage, just to make sure we take no damage. And Ritual Dagger is primed. Sadly does not exist here, okay. Um, you know what? 17 damage, sure, why not? The heal's not going to be worth too much. Well, that's one way to look at it. All right, now we're cruising, dude. Now we just get in the waiting game to make feed happen. I'm so happy, by the way, that we took Ritual Dagger. A card that now is doing 35 damage. It's, I mean, it's, it's doing 30 damage. I don't want to play like perfect world scenario here, but 30 damage plus, uh, Yeah, I'm okay with this. 30 damage plus vulnerability. It gets to a position where it's very, very easy to upgrade this card in the future. Now, the problem with it is that it only works once. Trust me, I'm aware. I wish it weren't like that. Unfortunately, it is. Okay, can we kill you? 9 plus 12, can't kill you. See, well, hey, we can kill you. We just can't kill you the way I, I would like to. So we'll go back around the horn one more time. In the end, it, I mean, we could be here for a long time. But eventually, we're going to get it. Like, even how did you heal for 16? We got to do 25 damage. We just need one more attack in hand. Actually, bash plus feed does it. It is close to not working, but it worked. Um, offering, you know, I think it, if you have Rupture, it just tilts this card to being worth it, but for now, I don't know if I buy it. I'm gonna say no for now, and that might be like a, a terrible decision, but I'm sticking by it for the time being. Two block, two damage. At this point, with barricades active, I think I would rather start to upgrade, like, 
You know, Shrug is already extremely playable, but why not make it even more playable? So how do we win against this guy? It's important, you know, not all these fights are going right. We're going to lose Carnage right away, but I think it's still very necessary to do things in this way. Um, how do we beat these guys? We build up an incredible amount of block would be the way that I would look at it right off the bat. And actually, um, well, does Iron Wave? Iron Wave will not kill you. So we are just going to get that Ritual Dagger out there right off the bat. Um, we're, we basically have to get to the point where we're building, like, an extremely great um, barricade. We got to get to the point where we have, like, a hundred block, and then we can just kill this guy with body slams. You know, I'm, I don't know why I'm making it seem more complicated than it is. Uh, we will probably use a Defend. And then, honestly, I'd rather strike body slam on the... Uh, the bigger enemy. The debuff here sucks. Definitely. Um, but, I mean, we're gonna... Iron Wave. Iron Wave. We'll strike you. You're obviously dead. And we have enough block. Okay, so we've started to build something. It's gonna take us a while. I don't think we're gonna be there, you know, overnight. Can't afford to play that. That's my bad. Hit you with that. And I think we'll finally use our weakness potion. He's probably going to take this turn. Uh, he's going to buff and then he's going to summon. So we actually have a lot of time to hopefully start to build something. Oh, he's attacking. It's actually, I would prefer that he attacks. That sounds fantastic to me. Admittedly, it's going to mill a lot of my block, but we also got in there. Now he's buffing again. Big whoop. Because of Barricade, we're almost always going to go for the block over just a, what appears to be a relatively meaningless strike. We're going to bring back a Body Slam so that Shrug brings it back in a big way. And, you know, we're chunking him down pretty easily. We got, for once, and it's taken me a long, long time to get here, I'm embarrassed to say. But for once, I think I finally understand the deck. It's all... Oh, we have Rage, right? So this is worth 5 block by itself. It's all about the Body Slams and the Shrugs. And it's working real nicely here. So I think we'll... I mean, it doesn't matter too much what we play. I think we'd rather... Um, like, I'll Body Slam. It's, we're not getting any more block. So I'd rather Body Slam, Headbutt, bring back Body Slam. And then we'll, uh, honestly, at this point, probably Strike and Feed just to put you in lethal range next turn. Hopefully in lethal range next turn. Well, 18 plus 5 will not kill you. 26 plus 5 will not kill you, but 34 plus 5 will kill you. Alright, fantastic news. Very good fight. Very, very good fight, <laughs> I would actually say. Um, I see a lot of value here. Exhum is tempting because we can bring Ritual Dagger back, but I think we're, we're double tap. Use it on Ritual Dagger, use it on Feed, or more importantly, endlessly use it on Body Slams. That's what we need for this deck. And we don't have an Energy Relic, uh, which is real bad. But you know what? I'm willing to do something. I'm willing to transform three strikes. Or maybe two strikes and a defend, because they're unupgraded. We got Headbutt, Sword, Boomerang, Dark Embrace. They're upgraded at least. Headbutt's, of course, fine. Sword Boomerang's not going to be that useful. We don't exhaust much, so Dark Embrace is a little dead. Um, and in fact, it's probably just objectively not good for what we have going on here, considering our boss, but so be it. Ooh, sorry, that was me slapping my wedding ring on the desk. We get it, you're married. Um, well, I don't expect... Uh, Dark Embrace to be worth very much, but why not play it anyway? The question now becomes, is it worth anything to play Barricade on this fight? And I think the answer is no, and I think this dude is going to be a real pain in the butt. We're going to Carnage, Headbutt, bring back Double Tap. Hit him with a... Excuse me. That did not seem to do 5 damage, even though I hit you with a 0 damage attack. Really makes you think. We'll Double Tap Iron Wave, because we... 
Can afford to do it without taking damage. Ritual Dagger. It's getting close. 14 damage plus 35. What if we added 6 on top of that? 14 plus 35. It's 49 plus 6. It should work now. Doesn't matter, but... So it worked just barely, but I still think that preserved a lot of HP. Am I willing to take another Body Slam? Yes. Uh, honestly, we could afford to have an upgrade target. I'm okay with this. Always fight a boss from Act 1. It sucks. We don't really make this guy weak. We're going to headbutt Iron Wave back. Next turn, he's going to hit us pretty hard. And in all likelihood, we're just going to have to take it. Or at least take a bunch of it. He's, we're going to take 27 damage. But straight up, there's not too much you can do about it. <laughs> so I think you just accept it. Now that we got Barricade out there, things should start to work out a little bit more nicely for us. Honestly, I'm going to bring back Rage. It also does the added benefit of making our body slams a little stronger right now. So I'm, I'm not worried about this at all at this point. And with Barricade, we're always going to err on the side of playing cards that have a, a defensive punch, of course. Um, I'm going to shrug first. No. You know, I'm going to double tap Headbutt. It's a little wonky, but I like bringing Rage back. And I think bringing an Iron Wave back is totally fine as well. And with Barricade, let's just shrug and then we lose Iron Wave so we get the... Uh... Yeah, it turns out maybe that wasn't wise at all. Oh well. Alright, we're getting into probably the, the part of his attacks where I would think that we could kill him pretty easily. So, I'm actually gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna err on the side of not killing him. Because next turn, we can get Ritual Dagger. We might be able to get Feed. We gotta check. We didn't. But Ritual Dagger now is doing 45 damage per attack. Bird-faced Urn is fine. Does it incentivize enough the playing of a metallicize? You know what? I, I think it probably does. We definitely want liquid bronze for the boss fight if we can afford to hold it until then. Um, we will iron wave. I hate that this body slam is not upgraded. Alright, we're taking two damage. Not a big deal at all. Once we get the uh, barricades pumping, like, it's over. Still gotta worry about our HP, but I, to be honest with you, I'm very pleased with where we're at. I think we've done a very, very good job of keeping our run uh, functional despite only having three energy. Please keep in mind, we also still have the ability to um, come back to life. If we can... Carry that all the way into the boss fight. I have, I wouldn't say necessarily high hopes, but I would say there are hopes. <laughs> There's hope. Um, so, I mean, Potion Belt, bringing five potions into the boss fight is worth a lot. But I actually really, truly think we just want to get rid of Dark Embrace. And it's expensive, but it just doesn't do anything for us. I'm happy with our other two cards, relatively. Apart from that, I, I'm fairly pleased with where the deck's at. We need to upgrade the Body Slam, we need to upgrade the Double Tap. Do we need anything else here? Nothing here really strikes my fancy too much. I do understand the value of the Potion Belt, but I think I'd rather save for the guaranteed shop that, that shows up a little bit later, or the other shop on this floor. So we're going to start with the uh, upgraded Double Tap. I think it's more likely to be a higher yield. And if we want to dodge all elites, we have to go this way. Which also gives us access to a campfire, which is very nice. Really good turn to get Barricade. 
Unfortunately, we didn't. Extremely good turn for Ritual Dagger, although it will not be upgraded. Um, like, this should do 5 damage, right? I really want to take 16 damage off of the field. We could use our Vulnerability Potion to do it. It won't count as getting a kill, though, is the annoying part. But it's still... At least allows... I guess we should have played the Body Slam, but... Um, I still stand by that, as weird as it looks. Like, the Body Slam, or the, the Barricade being out here is basically what we need. I still, I'm, I'm not mad. Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked attack damage. It doesn't say more than one, it just says four or less. Really? This is going to be where the run... Starts to fall apart is against these jokers right here. I'm not saying when we play a defend, we should get uh, damage, by the way. All I'm saying is that it says, you know, whenever you do four or less unblocked attack damage, they're not blocking my attack, which is zero damage. Maybe I'm being pedantic. Definitely I'm being pedantic, but still. Um... Feed is a long way away, so I'm just going to do it like this. This was not a good fight. I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed of it. It is what it is. We still made it through. Admittedly, Flame Barrier is pretty tempting. Um, so the Body Slam. Next thing we're going to upgrade, I know you're thinking Metallicize, blah, 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 blah. Nah. I mean, we have to... At our campfire, we have to get the ruby key if we want to fight the boss. If we want to fight the fourth boss. So, um, you know, admittedly, this is kind of the exact situation that I was worried about because now I think my, my health is not going to be in a great spot there. What is this? It's like I can't even parse my own hand right now. What I do know is we need to shrug. And I think we probably need to shrug. Nothing becomes free here. Um, and then I'll uh, hit him with, I guess, the armaments for future upgrade purposes. But we're taking 13 damage. I know these don't work. Dude, this... We might actually die right here. And that would be... Uh, I mean, this would be a catastrophic finish for me personally. Luckily, uh, Ritual Dagger... Play Rage first, of course. Ritual Dagger is an easy kill. Probably on the one that's doing 20 damage, just to be safe. Um, and we'll, we'll follow it up with an Iron Wave. And we'll follow that up with a Body Slam. And we're taking no damage... Thankfully, they're not both attacking. Bash Headbutt will not get a kill. Okay. In that case, we'll play that for heals. Not to mention the block. Oh, this is horrible. Okay, so I have to kill one. We can, but it's going to require... Okay, I was going to say some decent luck there. Well, I think we're dead. Amazingly, not dead. But closing in on death to a, a high degree. This one's a real bummer. 
We need easy fights. Sorry, what did we bring back? <laughs> it's Iron Wave, right? Yikes. Um, this is going to be bad. I, it's going to be tough. Let's put it that way. Um, we usually are going to want an, a barricade uh, early, but I don't think there's much we can do about it here. So I think a body slam for free has to be played. So it's just 20 plus 8 plus 5. Or do you do uh, 10 plus 5? Makes your, makes your body slam better. Is Metallicize worth it? Probably not right now. You have to do it like this. You're still going, but he gets dangerous. More and more dangerous every turn, I should say. Times are tough. <laughs> I mean, Ritual Dagger is just an insanely good draw. Um... Is there anything we can play to make it easier next turn? Sadly, no, so I guess we'll just hit him. And then, I don't know, man, good luck. Best of luck to you. Keep in mind, and this is, this is what's keeping me going right now, because there's no way we're getting 370 damage, so it doesn't really matter what you play, right? Um, we're coming back. We're coming back with 50% of our life. Thank God I took Lizard Tail all those years ago. Entrench is unnecessary on common for this to work. Okay, so everything's okay. Not good, but okay. Rage is very important. Now, I, I love the idea of playing Barricade, because it's, you know, the spirit of this deck. However, it we don't have the energy to play it, and then also... I mean, we're never going to get enough block, I guess, is where I'm just... That's where I land on this one. I'm actually going to pop this just to get out ahead. And then, uh, I mean, do we need an armaments? It, it does enable Body Slam to not be horrible. And then we would play a Sword Boomerang, and it kind of has worked. We would Headbutt, probably bring back Double Tap, and Body Slam. Oh my god, we're taking three damage. That's totally fine. Forgive me, but I'm going to hit the one I think that's doing the most damage. And then a double tap headbutt at least allows us to bring some stuff back that could be conducive to success. I really, I don't want to get in this mindset of like, oh, this run's done. Because I actually don't think it is. Um... Although, admittedly, it's, it's definitely spotty. Um, but I genuinely do find myself in this mindset right now where I'm like, dude, if we just got one extra energy, like, we win this run so easily. Things just tilt so much in our favor. Not willing to play that second wind. Uh, we will take one colorless card. And, dude, uh, I don't know. This is, a, I mean, I think Panacea is going to be one that we're going to be happy with. No, we will not fight you. Don't be a fool. Obviously, we will get the Ruby Key. All right, so this is a big, you're saying there's a chance. What do we want early? We need, I was just going to say, and it, thankfully it worked. Barricade is an unbelievable choice. We will lose Carnage forever. However... It's kind of got to be done. You know what? Pop the thorns, too. Anything to raise the odds. All right. Well, you definitely are going to shrug. I think you're going to Iron Wave. Entrench. Body Slam. Body Slam. Body Slam. Okay, so, still taking a little damage, but dude, starting to build. 
It's free, so we'll play it. Um, I still think Rage is, is pretty necessary. I'm not fully convinced yet. But there is a genuine chance here. And we're, we're kind of saving Ritual Dagger. I mean, if we can pop Ritual Dagger plus Bash, it's like over. We're going to have to play Feed just to keep this run uh, going strong here, I think. We're taking 8 damage, which is not the end of the world, but it's starting to become a little end of the worldy. Oh my god, we're actually rolling over 9 block. Okay. <laughs> it's taken us a long time to get here. But... At least in theory, we're starting to cultivate the slightest amount of, uh, of survivability. You need to play Metallicize. I know he gets stronger. It, it, it bums me out, don't get me wrong. But the extra block per turn, is it worth it? I don't know. It's kind of the spirit of the whole run, is I have no idea if that's worth it right now. Um, this, is a, this is a bad one. Um... I mean, Bash Ritual Dagger is kind of what we've been asking for, but... We're only taking two. It's actually not that bad. This is the bad turn. And we will die. We will definitely die. We were close to greatness. I don't know where we went wrong, but we were close. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. That was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. And follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash northernline to be notified when I go live in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!